OpenAI's ChatGPT and Bing Chat are two of the hottest natural language chatbots in the AI world, and both are competing for your attention and text prompts. Both of these famous AIs are based on similar language models, but at the same time, there are some distinct differences between them, making the ChatGPT versus Bing Chat debate one well worth having. But which is better? AI chatbots have gained a lot of attention since ChatGPT started in November. The chatbot was in high demand because of ChatGPT's capabilities to generate text, converse informally, write code, and perform many other things. As a result of ChatGPT's enormous success, other businesses hurried to enter the generative AI market. But Microsoft said in February that Bing Chat, a feature of its Bing search engine, will use ChatGPT. The primary difference between this chatbot and ChatGPT is its ability to access the internet. The all-new Bing is now in open preview, which basically means that you can now sign up and try it without a waitlist. Bing Chat and ChatGPT are fairly comparable. The firm that created ChatGPT, OpenAI, is heavily backed by Microsoft, and the back end of Bing Chat uses the most recent GPT-4 model. And so, there are some clear parallels between how the two work. But Bing Chat provides benefits that ChatGPT doesn't currently, especially for novices. Since I've been comparing the two tools side by side for some time, I've come up with four main arguments for why someone new to generative artificial intelligence should start with Bing Chat rather than ChatGPT. Microsoft's chatbot is integrated with the Bing search engine. This implies that in addition to anything it generates using GPT-4, it is constantly connected to and using the internet. Bing Chat will state searching and then search the phrase it has created based on your prompt when it is utilizing web search. This implies that you can respond to something if it contains stuff that Bing can handle. ChatGPT succeeds since it can tell me which TV stations will broadcast those games thanks to its information, but it explains why it's not able to give me all the other details I require. So simply put, Bing Chat presents a complete response by using the search engine to fill in the blanks. The information on Bing Chat will also include citations. ChatGPT does not, so there is no easy method for you to expand your study or just fact check it. All of this makes it much simpler for newcomers to cope with the experience and reduces their chances of becoming frustrated. Bing Chat is far more understanding than ChatGPT until you get used to its current limits. And let's not forget that it's pretty helpful. If you're liking this video so far, then make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Now back to the video. Bing Chat has a distinct advantage when it comes to accuracy. Access to more recent data and a variety of information sources are two benefits of the GPT-4 model. But if you compare, the GPT-3.5 or GPT-4 dataset is smaller, and while it has gotten some topical updates, was cut off at the end of 2021. Testing this was simpler than testing the creative gap. The results were thorough, with Bing Chat providing the most astounding response to the uncomplicated query, how much plastic was recycled in 2020. Well, all the figures and links to the sources from which the data was gathered were included in the response, but mentioning US plastic exports seemed a little bit out of place given the topic. The majority of GPT 3.5 testing is largely concerned with its language creation abilities. On a number of language modeling benchmarks, including the Wikitext, Lambada, and Pen Treebank datasets, the chatbot displays outstanding results. So which is best, Bing Chat or ChatGPT? Given how outstanding both technologies are, there isn't a yes or no answer to this question. A reasonable comparison would be to think of ChatGPT as a blank canvas and Bing Chat as paint on a numerical canvas. It will be easier for Bing Chat to direct you in the right direction. Conversely, ChatGPT focuses more on user input and leaves more to the user's imagination in order to get the desired outcome. Both perform admirably in these regards, but both systems have advantages and disadvantages that can aid in your decision making. The best alternative for people searching for current information and help with follow-up responses is Bing Chat. It is also better if online safety is a concern due to its more proactive approach. The disparities between these early adopters will only deepen as AI chatbots become more commonplace. But at the same time, consumers can select the chatbot that best meets their needs by being aware of the distinctive aspects of each platform. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to watch more insightful videos, click on your screen now and we'll see you there.